boy. It's, <laughs> what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Brett. It's your boy, CJ. And it's LMR, the coldest and the hottest podcast. This nigga Seth already got me wild Isuf. up. Huh? Isuf. I go by Isuf. Now? Yeah. Did you always? I started about a year ago, yeah. Okay, Seth, oh, cause Taylor got on my shit the other day. She was like, she he doesn't like going by Seth. Why you do you keep me? calling him that? I'm Isuf. like, I don't know. I have a problem with calling people by they they name. It's my government name. It makes me sound more official, you feel me? What? Isuf. I I'm love some games. That's what I'm saying. Isuf. If I go up to someone and be like, hey, if I, if I say, hey, my name's Seth, you can be like, oh, Seth, forget it. But if I say my name's Isuf, you can be like, it's a conversation start. Oh, where are you from? Where'd you get that name from? Blah, blah, blah. blah Kill blah, it, bro. Blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are niggas so interested about their name? Ron last week said his shit was strong, dark, and handsome. What the f- <laughs> You oh, used. No, whoa! No, you no, used. No, he's no, capping. No, whoa! He's capping. He said that was. No, he's, he's niggas, he said that was the definition he of his said that name. That's the urban dictionary. <laughs> but okay. He, he never okay. said he knows, but. Not like this that nigga can't but, but no, no but, can't. but you use your name as a conversation no, I starter. Don't. I just okay. go by Isuf now. I don't want to go by, you know, Seth sounds younger. I'm, my name's Isuf. There's more power behind Isuf. If I tell you my name's Isuf, there's more power behind it if I say my name's Seth. You talk, feel me? Talk. That's just all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't gonna take a black man from this shit. My fault. Oh, man. <laughs> on the back, on the ones and twos, it's... Taylor. Holding down my wall <laughs> and always being strong, it's... K-Star. Oh, man. I have another brother in the building. Chilling. You want to just get it off, P? All right, brother, man. Go ahead and call me Zay Will, though. He's been filming us like a <laughs> motherfucker. So I'm like, if you you do what's up, this office going to get you off. All right. <laughs> no homo. <laughs> <laughs> no homo. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is LMR. Like I said, Seth. I'm Isu. so happy. Oh, oh my fault. <laughs> <laughs> <Isu. laughs> my fault, y'all. It's, that's one's easier too. No, Come on. Man, he ain't playing, huh? <laughs> Isu. I, I, will, I will always call you my Isu. <laughs> but you have to, uh, then you have to destroy your uh, other account that's Seth Dumbia. You have to kill that one. What account? You have an Instagram account. No, not an Instagram. Instagram. A Snapchat, <laughs> a Snapchat one. And I, and I hit you up with that one still. And you respond. Um, so that's your fault. That's a different... Let's not talk about that. That's the whole, whoa, what's the different can of worms? Let me tell you right now. Can that of worms, brother. Crazy, wow. So Seth is a is an undercover hey, hey, man? Hey, 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 hey. This is the time and place. It's not time and place. Okay. <laughs> Let me find out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me find out. <laughs> Dubai. Well, <laughs> Isuf, I'm happy that you are here. You are one of the biggest people, I think, in my life. When I say one of the my friends here. that have been motivating me this year, you feel me? I see what you're doing, and you really, you got you got me here. Appreciate it, my uh, and yeah. going And I, I will start respecting the man, Isuf. I'm going to go by that. You had an Instagram post today, brother, that shook me to the core. You said this has been the hardest year of your life, and I did not know that because it seemed like you've been striving like a motherfucker. You get a dog. Jim Bod. You get a Jim Bod. If anybody's seen this nigga on Instagram, he Big always, body. Right, don't, he don't, always don't, showing don't off his body. Don't go that far, bo- brother. He always showing off his body. <laughs> he always, always on his body. On and I'm like, mirror. all right, whatever. Mirror to the max. So I'm like, I think this nigga's always doing good, but like behind closed doors, you working hard. Oh, yeah. So you, you work hard to get that your happiness. Whip, black on black whip. You know what I mean? You got to get the car. You know what I mean? Shout out to I that about. Whip. I just want to talk about a little about a couple of those things before we get into the podcast. Yeah, First yeah, of yeah. all, you said you had three things that are big in your life. Your dog, the car, and the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, the dog. Yeah, we're going to have to go in order. I don't want to switch it up, though, but I'm going to have to go with the importance. What's the importance? First was my dog. That's my baby boy. No one on ones. So, so uh, y'all dog owners, whoever you feel me, got a problem. Like your dog try to fight my dog. It's no one on ones. But um, then I bought a house this year. <laughs> <laughs> That's a huge accomplishment for me. I wanted that really bad right. as well. A car. If y'all know where I, this man know where I started from. No turning signals. Man, no headlights. Back from auntie house. <laughs> Just had to take the bike places. Bro. I'm talking about Good riding morals. my bike to work. And this is where I'm trying to go with Crazy. this, bro. First of all, you don't you hate dogs. Okay. I know you use this dog you, for you some just other don't shit. Like little dog, uh, no, little no, 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 You no, use no, no. this dog you for leverage like, like your name. I'll explain it. I'll explain it. I'll explain it. So uh, before, before I was with my girl, right, before we broke up, and she wanted a dog and I was against it. I didn't like the dog at all. I didn't want the dog at all. I wasn't messing with the dog. What camera am I supposed to be looking at? Just talk, my nigga. All right, cool, Let cool, you cool, 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 cool. So <laughs> I didn't like dogs. I grew up with dogs, but we kinda I'm a, I'm a okay. 
put some dirt out there. We we got evicted out the crib, right? <laughs> so we had to get rid of the dogs. And the way they went about getting rid, rid of the dogs didn't stick with me, right? So I was like, man, I hate dogs, man, because it kind of like hurt me. Like those are my niggas before, and we just got rid of them a certain way I didn't like okay. that I wouldn't have handled it. So I was like, I'm not gonna get a dog feature and it stuck with me. But then my girl at the moment wanted a dog, and I was against it. But I mean, you gonna do what your girl wants, kind of. You feel me? So we got yep. the dog. <laughs> we got the dog. I'm like, this ugly dog, man. She got my face. But <laughs> the dude, will grow, she grew on me. The dog grew on me. I was like my homie. Shout out to Bahama Bucks. I miss her. Hi, Keto. That's the so, dog name, Bahama Baham- Bucks? Bahama, yeah. The dog name was Shad- I thought it was no, Shadow. No, 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 it's a Sharpay. That's not my dog. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, excuse me. Damn, so I, I was... miss her. But yeah, that happened, you know, jazz, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, I'm going to give me a dog. So I got my little homie. His name Leo. He mad cute. He mad cute. That's my boy. Blue nose, we fit, go. Right? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. wish you would have called nose. him Zeus. Need he, a blue nose. He's, seven, he's seventy pounds. He's still growing. That's my. I do anything for him. Why'd you Why'd you reject my name, Zeus? I DM'd you. You like what should be his name? I said Zeus. Where you get Leo from? I'm my zodiac sign. You know, but um, I wasn't gonna name him. It was between. It was between, it was between blue or Leo. Blue. Yeah. That's what that's what the old lady said. It's a cute said. dog. She it's a cute blue. dog. It's a cute dog. So yeah, I got my dog, man. That that'll help you grow up real fast. You know, you can't do what you want in a sense. You gotta take. So I lived at an apartment. Got to go home from work, go to on lunch breaks, go home, make sure he's good, walk him, feed him. You feel me? And you want the best for your dog, so I ain't getting no bogus dog food. You know, I'm spending like sixty nine dollars on a dog bag. You know, and you got a muscle dog. Yeah, like you yeah, got yeah. a pit. Can't be yeah, no yeah. beef, man. Can't yeah, be on a great value. Yeah, you need pedigree. Yeah, yeah. we ain't good. He ain't good. You need pedigree, brother. Look. So yeah, I got my dog, and that's my baby, man. That's the best thing I have in my life right now. Is my baby boy right there, man. So so we was at an apartment. You know, you gotta take care of him. So what we did was we got a house. Well, I got a house. Now my dog's in the backyard, you feel me? He sit poolside, you feel me? Run around, he go to the bathroom when he run. He, he got, swim? He don't, it's too, not yet. I mean, it's not summer yet, so I haven't taught him, you feel me? He said, yeah, you mean. But, um, yeah, he he ain't pool. touching pool yet. You finna yet. be in there teaching him though, or you finna yeah, be outside? Yeah, that's my baby boy. Nigga, we we finna, finna be in the water. We in the water, we're in the water. We talking about we And knock on wood. Yo, since you got a pool, anything, anybody, kids or dogs, need to know how to swim. Oh, yeah. That's oh, a yeah. fact. Or you oh, got to yeah. put up a goddamn fence. Oh, they better know how to swim. Come correct. But, um, <laughs> or don't come yeah. through. <laughs> so, yeah, I got Stay my inside. dog. Now we got a new house. He living good. He running around, hanging off the other dogs, you know. So, that's a blessing. Oh, me. Uh, so, I'm, I'm geeked for you, too. You pulled up, and you got a new car. I yeah. got myself a new car. I know how hard it is you know what I mean? to get a car. Yeah. And you are trying to rebuild something yeah. from scratch. That's <laughs> different from different. So tell us, Vida, man. how'd you get this fucking car? So I was shopping the market for a minute, just looking at looking at deals on what's the you know the miles, see what they talking about, see if I could leverage them on. See me. I don't know about cars, but I had a homie named Marcelo who know about cars. So when we went to go check this car out, cause I was shopping for like at least three weeks, you feel me? To see what's done, to done, to done, see if they was trying to do fake easy with me, trying to, you know, you know, you feel me? So yeah, so that happens. We go there, we check this car out. So what I did before I bought it was I went and made sure I got a mechanic inspected for like a hundred dollars, you know, just to save for my investment. Smart move. It turned out good. I got me a Volkswagen Passat. Uh, 2014 Wolfsburg edition, and I had to get the black on black rims. But if you knew where I started from, wait, like wait, I, I was said, about to say, did it come with the clips. rims or did you put them on? You know, big dog, don't put them on. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. I'm about to say, does Marcelo know anybody that hook you up with some rims too? No, I'm about to say, how'd you get the whole package? No, I got them joints myself. So, okay, um, but you knew my backstory. That's the man, right around the street, right here, man. I used to work at Barrows. My um, my folks, my aunt got me a 2001 Eclipse. What was it? The lights didn't work on the outside. Man, the turning signals overheat. didn't work. The over overheating, bro. The smoke was everywhere. The boy. battery acid <laughs> in the back seat. Battery, battery acid, acid in the battery. back seat. Why? CJ, no turning signals. Don't get that no, CJ. Let me ask you a question. We was right driving now. Don't shut down. <laughs> Let me ask you, CJ, who has who had the worst car situation? Knowing us, me or you, or hey, my, my windows work. Had to be you. 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 Had to be you.
<laughs> but Seth was close. Seth was close. Seth was close. Bro, I have Yo, too many. Too, 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 too next to the run. <laughs> battery acid in the back seat. No bro. seat back there. Why? Bro, I had. I did a car wash one time with them niggas in the back seat. They want to play. Windows down. With the, they know what? my windows down, and they playing like they don't want to get out and help. So I said, "Fuck it." <laughs> get the boys right. Them. Get them up. Wash Get to working. Wash the car with no windows. You can't work for free. You can't be driving free with me. You gotta put in some work. Back window Especially down. Especially Ron. Ron back never tipped in. Back window down winter. <laughs> back window down winter time. Washing the car. I you asked him. Nighttime. I'm getting out the car. I tell you, you that. I'm getting out the car. Oh no, they stayed and filmed that thing. He still got it on his phone. This shit is hilarious. <laughs> Anyway, it's a daytime move. It's too cold for that. You also, this is the big move. I thought you just ran the house. I thought you just, you know, slipped in like Real you feel me. Mortgage me. guy. You what? I bought a crib. How old are you, man? Twenty-two. Stop it. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to the eye in the sky, man. And that's opportunities. That's and that's, what, and that's what I was really talking about. Today, huh? Not even that. It's or just was it was it crazy down payment? Or you just got right. Got you know me, I always, move. you know, I already saved money. And, you know, you see me with my car, when I went to the DMV and my aunt hit me with the, you got to pay that, get that car, I was bogus. But, you know, <laughs> I always, I always saved my money. I always saved. Pay to get it yeah. back. Yeah, we did. No lie, it was crazy. I was hot. It was hot. But, um, at a young age, I learned I'm going to have to save because you won't have no one to depend on, so you better have a savings account and mm-hmm. put money into it, you know, religiously. A little cushion. So what happened was, I was just saving my money, chilling, chilling, chilling. So I bought the home with someone else. There's a borrower and there's another borrower, both borrowers in the home. So mm-hmm. how okay. it works is, okay. just met someone with the same mindset as me, and we were, we were like, bro, instead of paying rent for something, we're paying off someone else's loan. We need to go. You pay off your own loan. Yeah. Get your own. Handle our pay, own stuff. So pay cause, yourself cause, back in the long run. Exactly. Because when we're paying off someone else's loan, mm-hmm. we're paying them. They're paying, we're paying the loan and we're putting money in their pockets because they're up pricing us. And your so money like, is pretty much going to nothing. Exactly. And they're up pricing it. We, and mm-hmm. we can't sell the home, so we're not going to yep. see that money in the future. So mm-hmm. now that I own the home, if I sell them home, I can get money back. But what the thing is, though, I got two roommates who's living there, and then I got me and the other dude who's living there. I'm not obligated to stay there. I can leave any time and just rent the room out. And if I rent the room out, What's I'm gonna rent name? it out for more than what I'm paying myself okay. to Let rent. Me, so me therefore, you, it's you more money to my pockets. You ain't tell me numbers, but fucking, um, is your mortgage cheaper than what you was paying rent? Oh no, because I got a four bedroom. Or is it damn near the same, or so. So but is, is it either way you, you got it. I, oh, most definitely. I'm coming out $400 cheaper now. Okay, that's what but, I mean. But um, it's more, but there's more people living in it because it's, it's a four-bedroom hospital pool in the back of the space. But in spacious. the end, do y'all got some type of contract where they're going to get the boot? Or is it because it's just y'all two on the on the? Oh, list, yeah. Right? That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, the, we, we know the rules and regulations on that. You know what I mean? We running this shit like, for real, for real. That's no joke. <laughs> and, that, like, and, and, bro, and that's what I'm saying, bro. You 22, bro. And, I'm, and I was talking to the homie the other day. I'm striving to do what you're doing. And to see you doing that, bro, like that ele- that that made me know like I could do it myself. Oh yeah, it's possible. Most definitely it's hands reach, just opportunities are gonna come your way. Anything and it's happen. just you feel me, you can't be scared, you gotta jump off the edge, roll the dice. Cause this can you feel me, this can end up terribly wrong. But if I live my life in fear, then I'm just gonna live my life in fear and the what ifs. And I, I was like, and if you know, you see other people doing so, you're like, I could have done that. When you get older, you don't wanna be one of those I could have, you wanna be I did that. Mm-hmm. Just even if you're not successful, even if you just trying at exactly, it, exactly. Yeah. Like I, I write, there is like I'm not. We we doing this podcast. We not the biggest and the baddest. Bro came in here. He said, "Wow, y'all doing something." And I and I met that. I was like, "Damn, thank you." I'm like, "She the brains behind it." I'm not even gonna hold you, but like I'm trying. Mm-hmm. And just even getting that, just that was that was nice. Yeah, I'm not Joe Budden. Joe Budden gets <laughs> five hundred thousand views a week. That's easy. Mm-hmm. That's in his sleep. I'm working for that. It's just consistency. Trial and just seeing you saving, getting everything you got, like you getting your happiness and building on your happiness. That over here means a lot. Appreciate you that. doing your thing, G. Appreciate that. Friends, you don't, I don't never see my nigga Seth down. You always see my boy solid. You feel me? And you said like this year was bro. hard, though. Hardest year of my life. Most definitely hardest year I, of my life. I agree. Probably hardest. A lot of shit went on. Yeah. This is, I ain't gonna lie to you. 19 was crazy. Was 19 <laughs> crazy for you? 19 was crazy. 19 was crazy for me, too, bro. And um, shape, it's gonna look like it's gonna be a good 2020. I'm glad that the people I'm gonna be around working with is like, 
like you said, the same mindset. You got someone that you link to, mm -hmm. and you guys have a goal in hand. Oh, yeah. And 2020, I'm shit. I have nobody but shit. Me and my girl, shit, backing me. My, my mom don't do that. She don't have to. I'm not gonna ask because mm -hmm. she did everything she she can do. Right. So now I'm trying to build with her. And this 2020 on build the empire. Keep it going. I have feel it. to. Have to. Gotta build your own room. For so you. this 2020 moving forward, what are you looking most forward to? So 2019, you'll get out the mud. I'm never one of those people who say, "Oh, worst year of my life," even though I just did. Cause I low key, I never had years like that in my life. But 2020, we traveling. You well, feel me? We too. traveling. That's the main goal. I'm traveling, well, ugly as hell. making sure my people right, and we traveling and just. Where you going? So, um, February, I'm visiting the homie Trajan in Seattle with my homie Tark. Finna go to the moon. Shout out so, Trajan, you need to be here too. <laughs> gang, gang. But, um, <laughs> T4. T4. Uh, March, oh, my other homie's birthday, we going to Miami. That's gonna be a movie. Then, um, <laughs> what is it? Around summertime, we're gonna go to Chicago, cause I have a homie who was who was raised and born in Michigan. So we're gonna take a flight out to Chicago, go see downtown Chicago, um, then take a car down to Michigan where he's from and just kick it there. But all them places we're gonna be eating good, it's gonna be good food, it's gonna be on my Instagram, shit gonna be buying, you know what I mean? Right. My, the one thing I think Taylor told me and my auntie told me too growing up, whenever you traveling, always trying to try to travel when there's an event in that city. That's smart, yeah. We yeah, like, like, like if you're gonna travel somewhere, make sure that stuff that like there's something big's gonna happen. Yeah, I'm trying to go next year to uh Louisiana Mardi Gras. Word, have to. I'm trying to oh, see that. So what everyone looks like they have fun. It's not even just like a black event, everybody goes over there to turn that up. Shit just look chaotic and hella beads. Beats. <laughs> Um, food, hella bees and running food around. and music. That's why I'm trying to go. I'm trying to get down. Taylor wrapped me into a, a cruise that I, I'm always forgetting about. We're going on a cruise around the Gulf. That's awesome. Man. I don't know how to swim. I don't know how to. I feel about. I feel weird. Come about to the pool. Got a pool in the backyard. I can teach you where you go, man. Get you right. I'm not good you with that. I'm not, oh, good yeah. with, I'm not good with swimming. He trying five dollars though. He ain't lying. He ain't lying. Why are you always trying? If you say, hey, I'll cut yes. your hair, but I'll charge you $10. Like, what? Why would you offer some shit and then, and then make tax me? Service. Service. What time's money? Service writer. And I'm kidding. That's the homie. We got, he been a couple of friends. I got to pay $5. Go dollars. Hey. No, we going swimming. No, we going to go. We going to go. Charge 50 a lesson. Cruise. Two five look cheap. Cruise and then pray to God. Pray to God. I'm going to keep saying it. Thailand. Thailand, I'm going to try to just go see a whole nother culture. I feel like seeing another culture make you just appreciate. Oh, yeah. And man, man, also, you get like different views because you don't know. Like, people looking at us, like, well, you kind of live weird. And, I'm, and I can learn something over there. That's a no, whole nother lifestyle that I could apply to my life. Like, some of the things that you do, I'm applying to my life. Like, we black, like we got, we similar, you know, black and shit. But, like, I can look over there and they... Bring it over here. Exactly. And improve yeah. myself. Build off it instead of being weird and thinking it's weird. You it, copying me. <laughs> right. Because, man, that's how I look at it. It's high key. And mm -hmm. some places, bro, we don't even know, bro. Like, going to Thailand may be as much as you going to Miami. About the same, like, for real. And niggas Thailand, don't even know that. Thailand, Bali, all those places are cheap. It's just the plight out, flight out there. That's the only Especially thing. Especially really. yeah. playing yeah. by your shit early should be solid. Right, Cause it's yeah. cheap. I mean, think about it. you know the countries aren't the well. No disrespect, but they ain't the wealthiest out there, so it's a little cheaper. Get on it. Yeah. That American money. Oh, we got Americans coming in. Mm -hmm. And people think the craziest place to go is to Mexico. Like that's the place you got to spend your money because it's cheap over there. Nah, bro, go to Thailand, I go still to Bali, ain't even like been you to said. It's just it's just convenient because you can drive there. Very convenient, <laughs> okay, but like only, yeah. only person in this world that ain't been to Mexico. I ain't been to Mexico. Nah, I ain't been I'm to cool Mexico. That. I'm cool off that. Tell you right now, I'm cool. Yo, what, what, why you don't why you don't fuck with Mexico? I'm cool off that. I just, you know I just didn't like the high school hype. Like, oh, spring break, Max. Like, oh. <laughs> like, oh. Nah. Spring break, Max. I'm like, damn, okay. I love how you shorten that shit. Max. Max. That's Max. That's how they getting off. Like, nah, bro, because sure. you know you can get away with shit over there. Nah, bro. Easy. Everybody go out there to be on bullshit. I, I want to go on a vacation. ATV riding. Bro, I'm not going out there to hang with y'all, bro. <laughs> We had when we were out in Mexico. I'm trying to lounge, bro. When we were out in Mexico, we were lounging and we just pretty much off ATVs. Yeah, but look, y'all went with y'all family at a whole other time. Spring break with my school. 
Fuck y'all. I don't even talk to y'all <laughs> outside of school. You the whole school. I feel you. I feel you. The whole school at the same bar. Easily. But, but also, Easily. you said what's convenient. I am trying to go to California once or twice. Just, we could drive. Like you said, you could drive. That's a weekend trip. It's a weekend cool. trip. Yeah, it's easy. I feel like that, that, that'll be suck. That'll be cool. You, where you trying to, you trying to travel this year? I mean, next year, coming in Mandatory next year. Mandatory traveling. Need a break. I remember, I remember you. You used to travel a lot for but work. <laughs> you went to Jacksonville for a minute. Work, football, everything. <laughs> just for whatever. And then I got you to went, see it a little bit. And then you went to Baltimore. Bay. You went back home for a bit. Yeah, it was posted. So where you come go to 2020? I just need to be out of AZ. Anywhere out of AZ be, be perfect for me. It's I too much. AZ repetitive. Burgers, Mexican, and pizza. <laughs> But she <laughs> chicken wings that nigga. He said it repetitive. You just ate food. That's the same <laughs> shit, bro. Uh, you know what I mean? Like go there's to work, a bitch. go to work, eat the same no, thing. No, 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 no. Okay, like what you do, you be going like all those uh, cliff diving places. Um, so that was something for the summer, but I know you might yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. There's there's so much nature out here, bro, that we don't even. Bro, I'm about, I went to Flagstaff last year. I thought that shit was gonna be boof. That was an experience. When we went, no, I liked it better when we went camping. When it wasn't even snowing, when we went camping on Flagstaff, I liked that. It was Delicious. different. I got to live off the land for a little bit. I was like, okay, this shit harder than it looks. Mm. <laughs> I need, and I was like, I wasn't in the best shape, and I was like, you know me, I'm thinking the worst. I'm like, if it was a zombie apocalypse and shit right oh. now, my fat ass would be bad. I was like, I'll have to lynch off Damon. I'll be like, Damon, we can't, bruh. If it went bad, I'm staying with you forever. Grizzly came out the woods. <laughs> bad for dog. You hear sticks breaking? <laughs> but shit, man, I'm just, more, I'm just so glad that you just doing your thing appreciate that man and traveling is gonna be the main thing you trying to do oh yeah you know stack my bread keep my little you know hey you better film it bro you are entertaining yourself you might as well get the views yeah, you, you might as well get the little, money yeah your little youtube jumping for a little bit get your youtube jumping used to get film, the waves used to film the cuts the waves haircut Hey, this this is a month oh, in on these ways. Boy, can you can you, can we show them on the podcast or no? We're not. Hey, we wave finna. Check. Wave check. Wave check. Hey, wave. I'm only a month in. Don't get wave it check. Now. Our first wave check in the. God damn. Hey, it. this ain't this ain't We're progressive. Deep, these ain't deep though, so y'all y'all can't be judging me. They ain't deep. Y'all are they are off. they are they low tide? They they a they a puddle. They, they a puddle. puddle. Okay. Don't disappoint. Get your socks fire. wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, so, so, oh so, my nothing god. Crazy. Nothing too crazy. No, hey, sir. They gonna come in real soon. Give me some time now. They gonna come in real soon. Give me some that way check is something serious. Don't die down. Give me, give me some time. They a puddle right now. A little sprinkle. Oh. But, uh, also. He splash. <laughs> Also, I saw you say something on your Instagram that you are trying to get your mental and your physical up. Oh, yeah. It's mandatory. Mandatory. What are you doing to uh, keep your mental up? Mental? So I'm not good at reading because I'm kind of on the go a lot. So what I do is, for me personally, this is what I do. Okay. When I'm in the car, instead of listening to music sometimes, there's a dope-ass app. It's an audio book because some people don't have time to read. I mean, we do, but we don't. You feel me? Uh, you know in like elementary school you guys probably had them audios you would listen to <laughs> you don't need to fall asleep to and shit <laughs> <laughs> so what I do on my phone you just be running through all these audio books What's, what, what you slapping right now oh, what you yeah. slapping um, it's called the why I'm trying to get to know the myself why. a little more mm. it's the oh. why um, why do I do certain things why do it's a defensive mechanism type of book so tell me how I react my defensive mechanism I think in my head I think a lot in my head and I don't say it or I don't speak it Instead of that. So this is my book. I don't know if y'all really can see it. It's why do I do that? It's a pretty good book. Me personally, it's like self-growth. That's what I'm into. Mostly, Damn. I'm not into stories. I'm more into self-growth. So if I'm in the car ride, instead of listening to music, like, for instance, on the way to work, it's like a 30-minute drive to work. I'll just put this on in the morning and put this on in the evening when I'm coming home from work. And then that's my knowledge for the day. And that shit adds up. Little things add up. You learn, you just learn it as mm -hmm. you go. Exactly. Mm -hmm. On me, I shit, I've been trying to say read, read, read for a minute. I've been reading a little bit more. I know my vocabulary is not the best, and I know it can be. So I know I have to read. That's bottom line. And also me getting like me uh, trying to be in media. I know I'm gonna have to write. I know I want to share my story, and I know I have to speak to a lot of people. So I gotta educate myself. So reading, that's the only way you got. You can't go around. I gotta educate myself. So you gotta read. Yeah. 
You have to. And I hated reading growing up. I thought reading was for suckers. Can't stand this is suckers. <laughs> I was like, I'd rather play outside. Like, you why would you stay? Me. Like, what, like, what's like? A, if anything, so crazy, just watch the movie. Yeah, I ain't never really fucking read until I fucking started doing I this love, swap. Mm-hmm. And then you read, you, and you read, read forms, yeah. forms, forms. You read a page, yeah. and then you be like, what did I just read? So you got to start over because like five you can different times. Teach yourself from from reading a lot of shit and, and trial also, and error. Also, I didn't have glasses yeah, until I was older. You got passion for it, man. That's how. That's how I feel like. Best ways to learn is, is if as long as you got passion for it, you can learn. You can learn anything about it. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. you can relate to it. So Only it's way. a lot easier. Well, I, the only reason I started reading was I had I started getting into like Greek mythology and I, and I was, was Percy Percy, Percy Jackson, Jackson. Oh, and that was the only re- I was like damn what the fuck is this gods you feel me killing and shit I'm like okay I could this, I is, a sto- you, this yeah. is a story like, I'm like I'm playing the movie in my head I had no other books do that for me so if I had more of that yeah I would have been more of a, more of a reader like Taylor she loves Harry Potter to, to death. Mm-hmm. She's like the way she explains it to me is like she could just be mm-hmm. lost. And I'm like, Run. how? Run. So I'm like now getting older, I'm Run all money. I'm reading right now is like growth book. I got the Gucci Mane. Oh I, yeah. I knew a girl uh, who's actually read that. Uh, oh. Uh a girl who actually read that. <laughs> okay. What did she say about Gucci? She said it was smooth though. She said it was real smooth, you feel me? I like the growth. If mm-hmm. anyone saw the Charlemagne interview, it's like, bruh. Like, from a kid, like, he was, like, the most feared rapper. No one wants to fuck with Gucci. And now he wants to be the most loved person. Like, he's smiling. He's trying to be the second unk, like Snoop. Yeah. Atlanta Ooh. Snoop. Okay. That's, That's Atlanta comparison. Snoop. That's right a there. very good comparison. Like, he's the godfather he's of... He's trying to father everybody down. Yeah, there's no beef. Like, before he would... under the wing. He would, he would what, have beef on Twitter. He would say re- reckless shit. And he would cause drama. Just that time in, just... Probably cleared his mind. And well, I'm like, how can someone like look at the world so evil and do stuff so much like bats like you know, lean? Mm-hmm. You feel me? Just getting wrapped up in just weird shit. And now you just trying to be all love and peace. In a matter of what? I could say what five, seven years? I gotta respect it. You just got it. So that's what lost weight, married, crib, back making music. I heard it was the lean that was making him chubby though. Oh, yeah. Had That's to be a lot of shit. Lean, the way he eating. The drugs, yeah. You, know, yeah, you yeah, on tour. Lean you on tour. You drinking lean. You eating wings. You in Atlanta. <laughs> lean and wings. Oh. Lean. And then your physical. I see you getting into the jiu-jitsu shit. Come on. Yeah. Who are you trying to kick at? Who, uh, who, who are you trying to beat up? Balls. Uh, I'm just waiting for a motherfucker to try me. You feel me? That's all it is. <laughs> really? You're not trying to go professional? No, I'm not. Not at all. I just do it for another outlet on sports that I haven't done before. You feel me? Like, I play football. I learn football. I play basketball. I've been doing that pretty much a while now. So you I was maxed like, out for I, me? Yeah. Not even maxed out. I still hoop for fun. You feel me? No, but, but you just want something new. Yeah, yeah. Something new. A different talent yeah. to learn for my mental and physical. So it works on my mental because I've never done it in a while. And it's like, I'm not good at it yet because I'm still learning. So it's like, humbling me a lot more mm-hmm. and then um, you know my physical some people like that feeling in the beginning yeah that humble feeling in the beginning and then my physical you know is pretty good conditioning from besides weights and it's just like you never know when it could come in handy what? I it, like what you crazy? said about that, that humbling shit that you say you want to learn another discipline and so oh, you yeah. can add it cause you don't like you say you don't know it's exactly. down there like another culture for real I wanna I'll keep on harping I keep on like, speaking things to existence I wanna get a bike I wanna be a mix like one of my favorite shows growing up was Rocket Power and oh. I was scared to do a lot of things because I didn't want to admit it was my weight and I knew I can do certain things, but I didn't want to push myself because I don't want to kill myself, right? Swimming and shit, me. like, I was scared. Like, I'm like, what if I don't can't do it? Who can't pick me up out the water if I'm playing around type shit? So I'm not going to go in there. I just knew me. I go, I go hell of the distance. Yeah, you, you like max? taking it. Yeah, I'm off you got the you adrenaline. Yeah, 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 adrenaline. That's a weird I had shit. To chill. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to keep going further and further. Fuck around, break shit. So I now know, I, I, lost all this, I lost all this weight. I'm going to get on a bike and I'm going to try some shit. Mandatory, and I don't know. And first of all, I was trying to get a fear, like a way of like not hurting myself, and also like you said, teaching yourself a new skill. Mm-hmm. I think all those guys that stay up in the air for that long and having all those type of fucking tricks, like you got to respect that. Oh yeah, that's hella different. I don't want to be able to do that. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to put it on camera. If I could get a bus out a couple trips to 2020, it's bad for y'all. You ain't jumping shit, man. Stop <laughs> playing. Stop playing. I'm gonna go bigger than you. I'm gonna go. I'm, Brent, no. The biggest jump I ever seen you do was off the little playground. Brent. You were 10 feet. Brent, you're retarded. What's the highest jump you ever did? 
I don't know, bro, but some you, you gonna jump off the canopy? No. Like that wasn't high enough? No, I'm gonna talk about he said the, the park canopy that people barbecue at, I jumped off that bitch me and Max. I see that. Was, that was the weirdest he shit. He said I it seen wasn't enough. <laughs> he said that's the shit. No, I said that was high. I'm gonna say I'm gonna try to go higher. I'm no, gonna try to jump higher than that. I've seen him if I life. can, I'm gonna try to do a lot. I'm gonna try to push myself. I ain't gonna be weird though, I'm gonna have all the pads on. I'm gonna be a big ass guy. I will have him. WWE heights. wrestler. Huh? Big time. You gotta go. You gotta yeah, you, you, you see, you saw me room. on Instagram when I jumped off them water. Oh, yeah. You had to. Bro, every time I get over a ledge, I feel like my body wants to lean over. Like, when I looked over the Grand Canyon, I was like, yeah, your body. I don't know why. I don't, want, like, I don't want to do this, niggas. Chill back. So I, I know say, exactly like, what you mean. <laughs> I'm tempted to do shit I'm not supposed to, like bad shit. I know exactly what you mean. Other aspects in life too that happens to me a lot. Come on. You can't control yourself on no, that. Like, it's like how not... far can I push it? No, no, no. But you, has it. anyone ever looked over a ledge and your body just feel like it's about to go over? No, I just, or some shit you're not no. supposed to break, but you want to break. Like just right. that's I how know. I get. I want to like I just want to like fuck this nigga. Break that shit. Huh? Yeah, okay. real shit. I don't know no, why I got weird. Time, we were they were inside. My brother had an egg, and my mom like saw him and knew she was gonna throw it at my other brother. And she looked at him and she was like, "Hunter, don't throw that at him." And he just grabbed the egg and chopped, like just chucked it at him, threw it at him. <laughs> just like threw an egg at my got brother. Some in the house. Bro, got mm. some rage, bro. Got some rage. No, but shit. I just want to say, bro, you are big time, big time over here, and I'm just glad that you doing your thing and everything that you are going through. Still ain't shit because you striving. Appreciate that. Man. Come on. Appreciate the love. So we'll get into the podcast. What do you want to talk about, man? I want to get off Antonio Brown just real quick. I think he's the most lost nigga of this decade. And he only had to show it within one year. I, I don't know where he's coming from. It's just from. a disappointment. Like, he was six round pick. Then he got hyped because he was six round who was. Bounced back and fucking made all broke all these records. This and that and third, like he can play. We know he can play, but then when this nigga not playing, he's like he don't fuck with women. He fucking can't just be a dad and just chill and just shit. I'm a free agent. We bounce back like he can't find another like, discipline. Why you gotta be on so much wild shit and why you gotta be on the media so hard with attention? Yeah, and just so negative, bro. You talking about the white people and black people? You, it's, it's not the time to talk about that, bro. Especially with the president we got. Okay, so this like, is what that, that shit stemmed from. His <laughs> wife spent some money on... Uh, yeah, but still, I, well, that don't, I don't need know, to be on media, you know? <laughs> no, 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 no. You should, he should never say that, but let's put this in context. He said this because he has a white wife and he has kids. He should have never said this, bro. You have respect for your kids, first of first all. First of all, so you have kids with this woman. You sh- right, shouldn't say no are, white women. Kids are half white. For real, because I would give a damn. I ain't give a damn. When you be my dad, I look at you different. I, but I thought he was saying it for this reason reason though I thought he wasn't gonna be with white women anymore for this reason I thought it was this she spent like 2000 like $2,600 on like kids foot locker knowing this nigga don't have the money like that he ain't getting on no team who paying this nigga Nike pulled from him a bunch of people yeah. pulled from him $2,000 for how much the money he had before he- well no 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 no. I'm just saying he's not making the same money like he used to yeah, so he spazzed on her and was like bro he kicked her out and was like bro you are not staying here kicked her out over money wow no, I would have kicked her out too. Like no, because they had a they had a conversation about this before. Like it was all Snapchat. He's like, oh, you're spending my money, ha ha ha. Like three days before, and then you see this video um spiled up. Get the fuck out of my house. You spend all my money. You we don't need this. Why do these kids need this? And I'm like, well, the thing I is, get you that. Take her. it back and resolve it. I mean, you got her Why when you have so money. Why are you acting brand new like she ain't going to act different when you don't have money? You got her when you have money. I understand. I thought he went like he was going to deal with people like that. They're just uh, trying to go dig on him. I don't know him. what goes on behind closed doors, but shit, if they ain't communicate that, that's on them. But shit right. can be returned. It ain't got to be that serious. It don't need to be on media. You set, a, you set a bad example for your kids. Let you be my pops. You like talk about moms wrong. like that. Like, huh? Yeah. Oh, true. And like, because kid, oh. kids ain't dumb, bro. Like, like, I don't know, I remember that shit, especially if I'm, I'm at that age and I'm you know, learning how to you, play I'm sports. On, but hold on, I'm on like, dad's my, side, though, on this side, though. Not really. Because, nah, like, look at... Nah, you say what? what? Like, like, my mom. Look at, look nah. at my... Look at my hold hold on, what, what? Think about it, think about it. No, 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 no. Just think about it. I'm the reason... Just let me... No, no, no. Think about it. The reason I'm kicking you out... Let him go. You on media, you looking at your dad be an idiot. You looking at your dad talk about your mom. You looking at your dad get with different women. You looking at your dad do all this shit. Like, is that how... 
how I'm supposed to be when I'm. I'm not saying that. You know but I'm, I'm saying, saying the reason like, why my mom, like, by the reason why he kicked like, her out. I ain't on no, that. the reason why he kicked her out was because you were spending money that's not yours, and we they legitimately Shit, don't need it. Too. <laughs> no, so he kicked her out. Was like, bro, I'm kicking you out because you are spending money that you don't have. It's my money. And he, the reason why I'm I'm thinking. He kicked her out, and all the cops were there was because the three days prior, he made like a joke, like, ha, ah, you're spending all my money, you're spending more money. And I was but like, it was a joke. He, he, instead of you being hear, a joke, you he read a clarify. Okay, but you're a grown-ass man. You don't but the reason why, but then he kicked her out. Right. The reason why is because you were spending money that's not yours on some kids that don't need shit. So the reason why I'm like, okay, are you using Antonio Brown? Are you gold digging? But you got him when he had but money. What you hit. think it is? I don't get what so it is. So he's like, bounce back. Well, what you I talking about? I don't know why he's okay, saying it I like that. You. What are you talking about? I feel you, but he can't act brand new to the case and then get back to her. You know, you people get mad in the heat of the moment. They ain't really, it's the heat of the moment. You got to learn how to let that shit settle down. Then talk when you have, because what? Ain't she back at the crib right now? No. She, she still ain't at the crib? Oh, no. He got a whole new girl. He said no white women. And then he's with a young really how, how, how long they been out for? His, him and his wife? Yeah. Not even a, like three days, bro. He made a girl. Oh, bro, I'll show you right now. He I, made a song with this popular girl on Instagram, and now they booed up. How you know they booed up? I just don't need you to look at this. These kids don't need shit, and these kids are your kids. Like, just like, return really to shit. Just do patient, like, like, you not moved even off about your family and shit like that. Like, you're you ending your family over like, some different shit. Like, and you groupy bitches is stupid. Like, you know y'all momentarily. <laughs> so, wow! Like, no, and, that, and that's great. Like two summers ago, bro, he had a little mom riff with gone. his wife. Who the fuck are you? A he, singer? All right, well you could be replaced. Hold on, he like two summers ago he had a little Demi riff Lovato. with his wife. <laughs> he got with another girl, like a celebrity girl again, like on Instagram. They broke up like three months later. I mean, like like they had were a span for like three months. They were together, and then he got back with his wife. Man, I just think Antonio Brown's being an public. idiot, bro. He don't need to be in the public. He's a great athlete. He sets a good example when he plays football, but this right now, he's just an idiot, bro. Like, mm. football was probably just his only discipline. Him by himself, he's not, he not a good person. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. I'm not rooting for Antonio Brown. Don't get it off like that, but I understand the reason like that. I don't like gold diggers. Really. I don't, I don't, I don't like gold diggers than the next. I don't, I don't like if you were telling if you telling me that you kick it out someone because they spending your money he and knew you, what he was getting himself into. Come yeah, on did now. Did you say you'd be fine if Taylor stole her money? No, I would not. And she always spent no, 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 no. of his money. No, no. If you have a prior conversation and they said we're not spending money, you keep on but spending. But you said it was a joke. If it, it was a joke, it no, 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 no. But then he no, 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 then he him. ranted. No, no. Then he ranted on the video why he kicked her out. But, but instead of really ranting on that, he should have it really sat down where like, look, I'm I'm cut from Nike, I'm cut from this, like we gotta cut back on our spending. The fuck, like kids don't need this. We already no, got no, no, no. This no, this was the he rant. No, been, this was more of the instead rant. Of just bitch, you gotta go. Type, no, like, this was more of the rant. You got a family, bitch. Nigga? Get out of my house. You spending all my money. Is this recorded. Yes. Oh, he posted it on live, bro. See, that's bogus. Why are you trying to make a fool of her? That's what I'm saying. Man. That's wrong. Let me, okay. let me be your. That's let me wrong. be son. Okay, I'll like, give huh? you that. That's wrong. But that's I understand intention. why he did it, though. CTE is real. I, know. I can never do that. So all I can say is CTE is real. You know, he I just, got some issues. Like, why are you on me? To you are a dad. You want that much attention? We won't. I won't. I'm not. I'm not agreeing with that. But I understand why he kicked her out. You are a dad that wants that's that it. much attention. That's it. But I think no. he need. You know, there's a better way to channel it. You know, the heat of the moment type of thing. That's all it is. The heat of the moment. Ooh. But I really think he got um, CTE. That's what I personally think. I think he needs some help. And the NFL didn't do their job by seeking him some mental help. They didn't care about him. They just wanted him to run and catch routes and I mean catch the ball, and do shit like that. And I remember Shannon. Some people Sh- do lose it, like when. Think about it. you play football. You're on that routine. That's all you know. In that schedule, it's all you know. Then once that's broken, it's like, what the fuck I'm supposed to do? Now you damn near going nuts. You can't hit nobody. You can't catch nobody. You can't talk shit to nobody. So it kind of do get a lot for people. I remember but, what Shannon Sharp was saying, like when the Facebook Live shit first hit, like when he recorded uh, his teammates in the locker room after that win. I don't remember if y'all that, that was like three years ago, and he was like, "Bro, that's a big deal. Like he's a fucking um, attention seeker." And I was like, "That's just a that's a minor mess up. Like, come on, y'all over like you blowing this out of proportion." And then one thing after another, and then boom, and it's like, "Bro, I no one can save you at this point." Like you saying, he's just an attention seeker. We should have been seeing this from the jump. I wish, like you said, you gave him that whole story in the in the jump. Six round, he came from nothing. 
And like he he motivated me. Like I was like when I was like in high school, I was like, well, I can make it to the league. Look at Antonio Brown type shit. I ain't gonna lie. Antonio Brown like was his dad a, was an arena pro football player though. He caught eight touchdowns in one game. No, his dad was a dog. Yeah. His so dad was a dog. Yeah, but it was like it's just in him already. It's sad to see Antonio Brown. Do you think um he will ever play football again, even arena? I don't know. I don't really keep up with football like that. I couldn't answer. What you think? I don't know, <laughs> man. <laughs> I just feel like the way he's pretty much portraying himself right now will kind of have coaches kind of in a, I don't know, kind of in the middle with them because they, I feel like they do know he's a good player, but if it's they don't amazing. give him what he wants, is he going to be all over the place? Is he going to like be a distraction in the locker room, off the field? Do they got to worry about them type shit? Because players are an investment. And so if he going to be fucking off, they ain't trying to invest in somebody fucking off when they can just get a young cat. Or somebody coming fresh out of college, fuck it, fuck you, Antonio. I want, a, I want some fresh legs. Mm. We could develop him. He'll listen. He's coachable. Like we ain't worried about AB. Or oh man, he already made his little his more, mark. More attention seekers, but in the East Coast. What, what, what were you telling me earlier about someone staging their kidnapping? Oh, the girl in New York. I guess she. Um, they said she staged her kidnapping because her mother was. Not, I don't like being mean to her or some shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So she was on some runaway shit. Uh, I believe. What, did you remember what it said? I think she got in trouble with her mom and she like ran away and staged her kidnapping type shit. That is horrible. Like people bro. pulled up, picked her up. <laughs> Have y'all ever thought about running away? Have oh, ever, yeah. ever I feel got like everyone's thought about running <laughs> away, but coming back? How you gonna come back? How long are you gonna be gone? Oh, I thought about it's a crazy story. <laughs> I was about to say, I was about to let me rock with you. Ever thought about running away? One time, I remember, it's the only time I thought about running away. I was in fourth grade. You know, little crate boxes? I was like, what can I fit in the crate box that can make me last if I leave? What can I fit in? How am I going to, like, combine this to my bike to fit, you know, so when I'm riding oh, around? I was in fourth grade. Off. Yeah, man, I was finna be in them streets, boy. But after that, I never thought about running away. I was like, I got it good, man. What the hell? I got air conditioning. I'm chilling. <laughs> I remember oh. I got a whooping for a, for something I thought I shouldn't have got a whooping. And I was like, bro, I'm done getting whoopings back to back to back. <laughs> that nigga's gonna hit the door. Go. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go. Bye, mama. And I was thinking, I'm like, what do I gotta take? And I, <laughs> I was like, I got, <laughs> remember ever seen that Kevin Hart special? He's like, I gotta get a toy. I legit grabbed a toy first. This dude. got some clothes and shit. And I'm, I was about to go. My mom was like, "Dinner's ready." My fat ass forgot everything. Got <laughs> <laughs> shit. My ass I wasn't even mad anymore. My ass left, went to the park, and was like, "Ah, it's far enough." <laughs> <laughs> You get to the park and life get real. Like, like, I was uh, really running, like, really running. (laughs) (laughs) Got to the park, like, God damn, it's a lot. (laughs) Like, what's next? What's the next move? Like, bro, bro, Sat there for 10 minutes. Like, shit, I'm going to get a call. Who am I calling? Who am I calling? I'm going back. My little sister tried to run away, and my older sister was driving around and saw her, like, just, like, sitting on a rock. And she was like, what are you doing? She's like, running away. She's like, Okay, so you're just sitting here. She's like, I ran out of food. I ate my last cheese stick. <laughs> so the cheese oh, went home. You are never <laughs> rational when you're a child. I'm like, like, walk your like ass off. Yeah, I, I wouldn't now. I wouldn't so wait, 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 why did why why did you run? I can't even remember, bro. You were just mad as fuck. Probably, huh? Yeah. See, I just like, got what, up what, and snap, cut. what snapped me back in like reality was like, I'm not gonna hear. Oh, food's ready again. I gotta go out here and steal and shit. I'm, like, I'm not ready. I'm not right. hustling right. like so, that. I might as well just sit my fat ass in there and eat. I'm just like, right. damn. Or my brother <laughs> told him, okay, that's fine, but you can't take anything I got you. So he made him take all his clothes off except his boxers, and he was like, okay, no. And where's my brother gonna go naked? So. <laughs> That's a smart one. Strip him. Like, 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 this is mine. He walked the back fence. <laughs> How old was he? How old was he? Like, we were all Falling young. In there, we tried to, like, run away. Like, my little sister packed a cheese stick. So, like, she was, like, probably, what, 10? Okay. okay. <laughs> I, I, I remember. We were all super young. It wasn't, it was, like. I ain't gonna name this person, <laughs> but he a close friend. I was in football. What was in in football last year with him and we were chilling before practice and he was like bro I'm going through it and I'm just like what's going on bro he's like bro my little cousin just ran away she tried to run away to Mexico 
I said, on foot? She's like, yeah, her and her friend, they tired at home, so they just left. And like, they both just fed up of their situation. So they ran off. They didn't go to uh, the Boys and Girls Club right after school. I said, no. I said, what y'all gonna do? He said, fuck it. And so we about to, so I'm like, damn, fuck it too. I'm about to just go with you. I'm like, we're gonna find these little girls. Who gonna go to me- walking? Two little 11-year-old girls to Mexico. They gonna get snatched. Who told him? So they left a letter saying I'm going to Mexico. They don't know where Mexico at. That's what I'm saying. And they walking. Just walking around the neighborhood. That girl got the meanest go. ass whooping I ever heard. She was like, she let her. <laughs> she, when their mom got there, she like she talked it out. She had a legit reason why. She's like, yeah, shit at home is like really real. So she told her mom about it. And after her mom was like, oh, okay, I can see your point of view. Beat the shit out of her. <laughs> Oh, had us warm. Like he, I didn't get the. I can see what you're something. saying. Get in the back room. <laughs> get in the back room. Have you oh. ever had that before? Yes, but you tried to run away to Mexico. You know your so. parents. Like, you can no. talk to me. You can tell me whatever. I won't I get mad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. 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 My was, my was, my was mad. Come here, I ain't gonna hit you now. That was it. Come here, I ain't gonna hit you. <laughs> oh, my, that. my grandma had a slick way of just like talking. She would rant like, boy, whoever, I don't know who you think you are. You ain't tough. You ain't, you ain't tough. <laughs> In the middle of conversation, she's like, if you want that, you want big chest and shit. And you came up with her favorite lines that you can't even um, buy tissue to wipe your own ass with. I'm so sorry. who do you think you're going to talk back to? And I was like... Right. I mean, I can't. I can't, but she would hit me in mid-conversation. I'm riled up. I want to hit her back, but I'm like, you know, oh! I know that. I'm like, I know that feeling. I know so that feeling. Oh, you be, woo. Bro, I used to try to fight my dad for ass whoopings. I gave my dad a bloody nose. He picked me up one time. I was like, and papped him in and gave my bloody nose. He threw me down, took the, uh, uh, and I try to hit him. That's a man. But my mom and my grandma, I would try That's to grab the bell. I'm running. I'm not going to hit them because they going to get back up. My, <laughs> my brother flexed his butt one time when my mom went to spank him and broke the blood vessels in her hand. So she didn't spank anybody after that. Mm. He took one for the team. Oh, Shout out. Oh. He said, go ahead. And he I'm just wrong. flexed his butt and she broke My mom the trying to hit me with her, her brush. I was older. That bitch broke. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. I said, yeah, I'm dieseling up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they get the bang. They just trying to get the bang. Oh, they just trying to get the hangers. They just trying to get the hangers. I remember the hangers. He said, I start dieseling up. Once Spark started Breaking? Oh, they That's started cool. When I started grabbing belts, I knew I was him. Y'all had a wire ass? What? Before? A wire? No, I had switches. I had the yeah. Yeah. Swap, yup. I had the extension cord. I, my grandma. Yo, I was finna hook up my the PlayStation. Get the stick. <laughs> my grandma get the stick. Boy, she can put in the Bahamas Bruh. when I live here. She, she'll go outside and get the stick. What? 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 I'm talking about off the tree type shit. Nigga. Uh, like, did you have to go get your switches? No, 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 no. I ain't get the My switches, grandma man. said, go try to get them. And I got the weakest three. And she said, all right, I'll get them. You playing. Oh, <laughs> she playing. She wrapped the little rubber band, put it behind the TV, says, I get different. Rubber it's rap. I'm going to let you see that every time. It, pick that up, tear my ass up. Right, yeah, no, no. But she always did it. So yeah, when you go back to school, you couldn't see them. <laughs> you know, you get him in the back in your ass and your legs. You got to put jeans on. You feel me? You're going to school. I'm going to, I went to a little charter school. Had to, always had long pants, so my beatings were hitting. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> hitting. But shit. Oh, thanks. Oh, I what? remember going to school and shit, man, it's whips on my arms and shit, right? <laughs> Anytime you see a kid come back home from an ass whooping, you like, bro, they they were they were aiming for your face. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> God damn. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Nah. What is it called? Would y'all want to get into Trump versus Obama? That was a good conversation before we end this thing. Damn. Should we do it? Or should we? I think, personally, since Trump has been in office, that we as black people have been more unified than ever. More so than Obama. Now, am I crazy? More what? More unified. Like, I've seen more black people unified in the past four I think years. because it has gotten progressively worse. So I, so people are coming together now. So I'm not... Because it's gotten worse. <laughs> I'm seeing more rappers coming together. I'm seeing more, more black businessmen that I didn't even know. I'm seeing more black senators, mayors. Like, people are trying to step up. I feel they know, like it's the same. I don't see too much. Maybe you're just more woke like they're saying, you know? Is it just my mentality? I just grew. I just grew up. Cause I feel like when Obama came in, it was just like a cel- like just we celebrating that he's in, not what we what we can do. Maybe or I didn't see it. I don't know. Oh, I might, I kind of agree with what they were saying. That was more woke. Yeah, Maybe we had different goals at that time ago. too, though. 
I mean, I was a child when I was in sixth grade when that when the first one happened. So when I was in high school, when it came around, and he won. I was like, all right, bet he won around like yeah. twice. Cool. But like, I don't know. I feel more. I feel like we're more unified as a country in in certain parts because Trump is in office. Explain it though. Break it down. Break it down. Do it. I see shit. <laughs> All right, like for me personally, I watch like in the podcast world, like radio world, and like you are seeing more African American, like like not anti white, but more pro black, speaking uh, about black issues than we ever had before. Maybe that I'm maybe just I'm I'm getting older, mm-hmm. but like the other day, uh, one of the gentlemen from the Muslim group was talking about my. Uh, was it Malcolm X assassination and that it wasn't them that killed him it was the FBI mm-hmm. that's huge hey man, hey man, okay. huge bro that's conversations that I don't think that was getting talked about maybe in Obama maybe that just wasn't the time but that we're just having more platforms now that we could speak about these things and bring shit to light and people are trying to uh, unify like I was saying with rappers like Gucci man he turned a new leaf He's trying to work with he she he he was like, man, I fucked up with takeoff and off uh, offsetting them. I'm sorry. I mean they don't fuck with me. I'm sorry though. And I feel him like What happened with them? I don't even know. He said some shit and they felt some type of way. And I felt him and I was like What did he say to him? He said that he it was kinda like he put them on and they felt that like uh they put themselves on. It was like Why he feel like he put them on though? Though like he didn't cause he cause he shot in them out. Gucci damn near shot out everybody. Gucci is a huge when he shot him out Gucci's in his songs and just like showing them around like putting them on shit play, like taking them places that's stupid to burn a bridge and, and, and they head. and they, but they were they, but they were taking it as like they were, he was trying to big bro them and he, he was trying big bro that is like, big bro like, like why you care why you say you no no but he like, but, but no bad. but he didn't but he didn't say it out of as like I'm bigger he, than you he was but he but he said he admitted he's not that he made that career he admitted that somebody when he was not on helped him like gave him money but gave him watch they want that to be that's said though mama. I don't know I think he shouldn't have one about it me personally if you felt that way keep it to yourself bro anyway you know how people gonna react off that he probably said it aggressively so he should I don't know no but no but, my, but I'm saying what I'm getting at is that that nigga apologized and they, yeah. they they still don't fuck with him I yeah. feel that there's people that I apologize to that don't fuck with me and he just you gotta move on yeah yeah, yeah. and I learned from that for bro and that's exactly, sh- yeah. and that's shit that don't get talked about. And it's it also shit, black men growing. And growth, we not, it's not a, a sense of like, when I was think when I was growing up, like being a black man, like people's like, you have to be big and bad. I'm from Michigan, I told people I'm from Michigan, oh, why are you not tough? Why are you not, why you speak this way? Why, like, and I was like, bro, and I always had to put on a fucking character and I hated that and people would get me bad and they would try to, you are trying to try me. And I'm already, I got a lot of shit going on at home. You try to try me out here, please. <laughs> the fuck going on, bro? <laughs> fuck going on, bro? I, don't, I can really hit you. you. My grandma hits me in my mouth. I know how to take a hit. Fuck you. So what's up, man? I, I hate that. Like, people have to think, like, I got to put on a carriage. But now I just think there's a lot of different ways you can be a black and just was more unified. I don't know. I I'm just feel black. Like, I don't know. Just I'm brown. You know, I'm. Oh, look at you. I'm black. You know I'm rocky. I'm brown. We got Africa uh, right here. I'm Best brown. believe it. You know what I mean. Uh, he's so, a good touch. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, and so, yeah. so I'm crazy. Keep We're not more up. unified. Taylor, what do you feel? I really. Uh, I'm. I feel like being forced to be unified is not necessarily something to glorify. Mm. Speak to him. I really feel oh, like I really feel like it's not even I really feel like it's not even much of a difference. I do feel like we do see more, mostly because of our media and we have different goals and the different what do I wanna say different time frame we in, especially with a lot of uh when I say police brutality going on. So I do feel right. like that's a lot, lot more a huge unified factor with that. Cause it's really a lot of stuff that could just happen to any one of us. We're not even just black, but white too. And like, we're exposed to a lot of shit, and we're seeing a lot of people getting jammed up with just the most random shit. And I feel like that shit right there is kind of just right. like alarming to us. <laughs> I'm gonna raise my hand like I'm in class. I'm about to say the gang vibes. Like we have gangs try to uh, um, unify in California, especially. But I really do feel like Nipsey's death did play a part in a lot of that stuff. Cause like you saw him, someone who was in, it, in his own town, his own street, in front of the store, he put it all on the line for, and 
Someone taking him out. And he but a celebrity. Before he died, him and Jay-Z were, and other people were really and working like, on that shit, He a celebrity, though. and he up, and we got so many people who respect him and love him, and he's still getting taken out. Who the fuck are we? Like, like yeah, we love each other. We people who still at the end of the day, but, like, damn, people don't care about each other like that, and that's just alarming to a lot of people, I feel like. I do feel like that's probably a, playing, playing a big role in why people are coming together and probably trying to burn bridges and just live. Cause there's more a lot there's a lot of bad shit so a lot of people are you to find over yeah and then like uh, we, we seeing more bad shit than we see good on especially in media I don't see too much good stuff on media I mostly just see police brutality impeaching some po- political shit and then fucking uh, probably some fights or drama and then a new song drop <laughs> other than that mm-hmm. uh, that's all I see in media well, um, yeah. might be who you follow or, or, or fucking Catastrophic yeah, event, well, but it's also who you follow. Honestly, you I don't even go in my media for for that shit. I go in my media look at cars or fucking uh, look at parks. So that shit just. So are you up, talking so. about general news? Everything, all that shit, it pops up without me even looking. Like I'll I'll hear about a fucking like the volcano. I ain't what I'm searching that up. The girl fucking staging her her uh, staging her kidnapping. I ain't looking that up. It's just popping up. It's popping up like. Yeah, oh, like you know, but if you but if, but if you yeah, search it for yeah. good, if you search, I'm not searching for no, that. I'm not, but, it's just but if you are it's searching bad. for good shit, there are is a lot of good shit that's going yeah, you on can though. Search for some positive shit, but like thrown out. more of the negativity is thrown in your face than more of the positive shit. Yep. We're not we're not what do I want to say applauding the positive shit. We're favoring all the negative shit. You see the fights getting retweeted. You see in the fucking. People getting dissed, getting retweeted. We'll never see somebody putting somebody on or somebody trying to share their business. We not, what do I want to say, uh, support my friend, go buy this and that from him or whatever. We don't see that. We just see more of the, we want to see fights and just negative and drama and all types of bullshit. In my opinion, that's, that's what I feel like I see on the regular just on my media. But before we end this podcast, I want to tell everyone, LMR is not that and we the opposite. We good media and we want to preach that everyone should be loved. Try to keep it moderate. So, and on a good note, this was a great episode. This was cold and hot. I'm happy that you were here, Isuf. Big man, man. Where, where can time. we find Dumbaya? You. My crib, man. We're, chilling. we're not going over there. You got a, something downstairs that no one want to see. What is your um, Instagram and Twitter? In there? It's got carpet in there. Oh, yeah, it got carpet in there. Okay. Mandatory. Okay. Uh-huh. My nigga you got a pool, bro. You doing this thing. My nigga in there on <laughs> Shop Force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Shop Force. But what was I going to say, though? <laughs> My Instagram is Isuf, I S S O U F D O U M 11. Why you got 11? Why you got 11, dog? Why you got 11? Why you got 11, dog? It was just 1-1. One, one. Not honest Whoa. truth, it was just 1-1. One, one. It's just not just a 1-1. One, one. Don't think you oh, own everything, bro. He bogus is it. Yo, I ain't talking about it. No. <laughs> not on camera. This nigga's trying to talk about a high school number. You don't have 11 no more. My nigga is gone. Bad, bro. I, I done had 11 since birth. I'm, yeah. 11 since? You're not even I born on the 11. I had the same number throughout every sport since I ever started playing sports. Hey, you niggas can get out of yourself. So, Oh, my, man, my man, you were you were doing work in the back. You had a thing or two. Where can we find you? Um, dang, is that what? Uh, <laughs> it's all love, hey. Yeah, just underscore first, I believe. Shoot, hold on, let me check, man. Is really that's really it? No, no, no underscore, man. Just Zay Wilder, Z A Y. Only reason I did that because you were taking a lot of pictures. I'm like, no one asked for that, but thank you. Oh no problem, my bad. Uh, it's all love, all love. It's okay. Taylor, where can we find you? You can find me at Small Town Psycho. You're fucking crazy. Small time. Fucking crazy. Krista, like where that. are you squatting lately? Eos? Yes. yes? And where can... <laughs> squatting. <laughs> where, and, <laughs> yes, all you do is squats. You <laughs> only you do squatting? legs. Krista, I've never seen you do upper body. Legs this, legs that. You always squat. I squatting. literally just post one. Actually, I've been sick as fuck. I've been in and out with the doctors. I don't even know the last time I've ever been squatted. Squad it after you. But where, but, where, but where can we find you though? So we know how to do a proper squat and proper leg yeah, workouts. Yeah, Miss Star underscore four S's. Okay, I just gotta let them know because if people try to work out, I'm working Go out. The squats, oh, the squats. My name, Brent. You can find me Clemens dot Brent. Taylor told me to change it. I will soon. Oh. On me. <laughs> no, no, no. You, that's you not guys what both I told said that the first huh? episode what? of the first season. What? That you were going to change your Instagram names because they were too basic. <laughs> underscore Here underscore CJ the real double one on 11 you did double one you did <laughs> oh and this has been another
on a cold and hot episode. Thank you. Bitch. Doom 2K on Snapchat. You feel me though? Doom 2K on Snapchat. And we better than we you she, expected. Ah! CJ 2K on cut. Come on. <laughs>